if you're making a traditional quilt that has blocks in rows and columns with sashing in between them and corner stones, then the pattern might give options for assembling the quilt top by having the blocks in rows and the sashing in rows, blocks in rows, like this. Um, but I found a little trick with corner stones that makes it easier to line everything up and keep everything together. And that is with my blocks, before I start assembling them, I'll add the two pieces of sashing and the cornerstone right to the block. And then this is treated as a block unit and it'll be joined in the quilt assembly. So I would have this block and I would join it to the next one. And you can see that there's the cornerstone all um, in the middle. And then of course, when I would get to the end of the quilt, I would have a piece that doesn't have a cornerstone because this is gonna be the edge where I can add a border or whatever I'm gonna put around the edge of the quilt. So that's a quick and easy tip for adding cornerstones into your sashing and getting everything to line up perfectly. For more quick tips to help you make beautiful things with quilting, pujagi, and embroidery, be sure to follow Evita Studio.